computer. He'd been out for 22 games with a wrist injury, then a suspension, a four-game suspension because of the brawl. Here's Nash, and Nash gets him started as he buries a three. three. You know, Steve's so smart, he's waiting for the screen. Crawford again goes underneath, and Steve just steps back, and you just can't allow him to shoot those open threes. It's like I take Marbury inside, can't get it, follows his own shot, brings it out now to Roger Bell. Bell will move in. He'll pop it and hit a two. And Roger's done a good job that of late, not selling for the threes. That's how he plays. 5-5 the score. Nash gets a screen from Donahue and another three. Count it. And again, 8-5. There's the three that put him over the top. There again, as Amari comes over for the pick and roll, Stefan goes underneath. The cry of the left hand, and Curry with a very impressive follow inside. Well, we talked about this Nick team, and they can really rebound the basketball. So the Steve hits another three, and he's just on fire, but the Suns have to do a good job of boxing out. Back it comes to Nash. Suns up 15-7 here in the early going. They have lost two of their last three games. They want to get this thing started right before the four-game Eastern World swing. And Kurt Thomas has hit two in a row. Yeah, Kurt, behind the line in the early going. Just cannot go underneath Steve Nash. He'll step back and hit that shot. Sun's up big. In the shot clock. Malik Rose in the lead. Partially hit, I think, by Amari, who came over defensively. Nash back the other way. Beautifully done to Rajabell. Well, good pa patience there by Steve. He had Marion on the other side, and he went to that break. You can see a good block by Amari, and then they get out and run, and Steve's going to hang on to it just enough to make sure that Nick's commit. Marbury committed to Sean, and he's able to lay it off to Raja. Side shooting the ball. 41-24. Nice down the middle. They didn't stop him, and he just keeps going. Well, you can see they made the adjustment as far as going over the pick and roll. So in the game, he's hit four or five shots. Gets the screen from Amari, goes in to the corner, finds Barbosa, a three, and round on the three-point zone. Marbury dumps it inside to Curry. Curry's a bright spot, and there's Amari coming up with it. They thought that should have been defensive interference, and Barbosa converts at the other end. Isaiah Thomas thought that 13 points in the game. Leading score at the start of this night, and you can see the points in the paint. Suns, however, have 23 points off the bench, and Nash, 5 of 6 tonight for 13 points. Stefan did the, oh, you know, get him some contact and then back off. Of course, kind of lost his footing and shuffled his feet a little bit. Here is Nash. Beautiful, beautiful feed to Amari. We saw that last night. Yeah, with Dallas. Dallas is pick and roll with... Uh, you think that's accurate? I think Curry's probably around 300. <laughs> oh, come on, he's lost some weight. Even he was 320, now he's 300. Did have eight rebounds in that first half. Garrett Jeffries, who was a Big Ten Player of the Year, when Indiana went to the Final Four and lost to Maryland in the championship game. Diaw with another reverse. And, and uh, Nash able to shoot the technical and hit it. Let's watch step. A little break of, in Madison Square Garden. There's Diaw at a black by Curry. And then Nash draws the charge. This year, Jeffries just turns around, not used to handling the ball in the open court, and Nash stands and takes go. Bell down to the rebound. Roger ahead to Nash. Into the corner to Diaw. Diaw floats and hits. But well, Stefan, knowing it, he played with so much. Holmes in the door. Holmes in the hole. With the old ball, you know. In the corner now is Nash. And Nash with another three. And Fulton Holmes proud on the three point zone, hitting the three ball. Well, we talked about his ability to shoot the ball. One of the best shooters in the league. Shooting 50% behind the arc and continues the hot streak tonight. Francis, who starts the fourth quarter. So Marbury and Francis, two all-stars operating in the backcourt. Oh, and that'll be an offensive foul. Marbury just ran over that. I mean, I think he thinks he's a football player. I mean, charge here as he squares up and gets right in the middle of the chest. And that's about the fourth time Marbury's went in there and caused him. Lincoln High School. Tony Island area. He could have been a football player, I'm sure. Now we have another zone again by the Knicks. Nash with a three, and Nash with another hit, and action. 89-74, 729 to go. Nash into the corner to Kurt Thomas. And Kurt is playing so well tonight. Win or else. Now, no one knows how many wins that's got to be.
Last year they won only 23, and they're already up 13 this year. Is that going to be enough? And there's another three by Bell. Bell hitting two threes back to back. Yes, what, are you, what are you doing? He said, I can't get up like that. Are you kidding me? Here he's going to shoot one. That's more like it. I could do that. Boy, he's shooting the threes tonight. Yeah, he's playing well. He is redefending NBA champion Miami Heat. A week from tonight. All right. MVP. That's right. Brad here with Steve Nash. Steve, 20 points, 9 assists for you tonight. You guys really came out and took it to New York early. How important was that, especially coming off a rough night like last night and tough loss? It was very important. You know, it could have been one of those sluggish games for us, having, uh, you know, traveled last night and, and lost a close one. We could have been down a little bit emotionally, but we came out, we played with a lot of energy defensively, and we made some shots early, got ourselves a bit of a lead that we could manage. You yourself came out aggressively early. I mean, you needed just a few points to uh, reach an elite group, 10,000 points and 5,000 assists. What does it mean to you? What does it say about your game that you have joined that group now? I didn't really know. Uh, and congratulations to you. Uh, my dad had mentioned the 10,000 points to me on the way to the game tonight, but I don't know what all that stuff means. You know, I just really feel lucky to play with a great group of guys and great coaches and want to win a championship, that's all. You guys really did a good job preventing them from uh, doing anything offensively tonight, really getting in a rhythm. How, how nice is that to see defense playing a role? Well, it's important, obviously, for our team. We're going to score most nights, uh, and if our defense is active and disciplined and committed, you know, we're going to be as good as anybody in the league. Steve, thanks a lot. Good luck in Detroit New Year's Eve. Thank you. All right. Great.